Make sure you stay until the end, we will explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and that can cost you quite a bit of money. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 4 Series, talking about generation F32, F33, F36. This guy specifically is a 4 Series from year 2013 to year 2020. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the speedometer fuses are located. Up to four different fuses in different fuse boxes. We will explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools, that way you do not waste your money, why it's important to test fuses and relays all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end now something else even though we have a bmw 3 series here bmw 3 and 4 series are built on the same platform so m many of the things will be the same or really close guys but we will explain specifically about the speedometer fuses on a bmw 4 series before we start guys let me tell you a little bit about us if you guys need to find fuses relays for that bmw 4 series generation from 2013 to 2019 we'll make video for every single fuse relay why because let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to find where the fuel injector or fuel pump fuse is located you have multiple hidden fuses you can find and replace it get back on the road guys fix that problem because otherwise okay you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere every single car we get here at the garage guys we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything from transmissions engines bodywork guys all that will be on our channels check it out let me show you where you can find more about it right here we have more than 10,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you need to buy parts tools fuses for your bmw or any car at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from so let's start on it now where you can expect to find the fuses guys okay for the speedometer on bmw 4 series we'll demonstrate on a 2000 guys uh, and 14 model bmw 4 series here you have up to six different fuse boxes three are easy to access three are not the one that we need today we need two fuse boxes the first one is in front of the uh, under, uh, open the open the hood guys in front of the windshield on the passenger side here behind the shock tower and in front of the windshield you have one trim cover piece open it remove it and you will see a fuse box layout that will look like this one here now uh, before we guys continue let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so here specifically guys now we have okay we have that row of fuses towards the windshield side here this is uh, the windshield side front of the bmw passenger side driver side we'll be working right here even if you have a missing fuse, you still count that spot. The fuse that you need to check first, guys, it's 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, 50. Fuse number 50 is the first fuse that you need to check. Fuse number 52 is the second fuse that you need to check. Then you go to a different fuse box. Open the trunk on your BMW 4 Series. Right here is your cargo liner. Pull it out and right underneath it, where the arrow is, you have a fuse box and the layout guys of that fuse box okay uh, let me show you now it will look just like this one here here we'll have more fuses that we need to check one of them is fuse number 121 that 20 amp fuse and after that you will need to check guys fuse number 155 this 15 amp fuse right here hopefully the video will be helpful if you have any questions let us know thank you guys for watching see you next time